everyone and welcome back to my channel sorry if you can see my two animals in the background um today's video is going to be very exciting because i am officially going to be back oh, i don't have my rings on but whatever um and uh I'm, I'm officially going to be back to youtube one of the reasons why i haven't been posting is because my entire family got covid over christmas and I, um, obviously, like, with, you know, COVID no, and, like, any sickness, you don't want to be filming. So, that's basically what happened. And, um, my symptoms, I was going to explain this in the last video and I just didn't even explain it. But, actually, the last video that I actually posted, I was sick with COVID when I was showing you all my Christmas stuff and everything. I actually had had it for a couple of days. And, um... And so basically I was sick filming that video, but I was in the early stages of symptoms and not like where I was after that. Like my first symptom was a scratchy throat and I had that for a couple of days, but I thought it was because I had been talking. I had been like listening to music and like singing all over the place. I had been going all over the place with my mom, like driving everywhere, trying to get all of the Christmas stuff done. Like I had like, done all these things and I thought that that's what it was from was just me talking and going and you know like all these things or whatever and um and then basically the night what a, a couple nights before Christmas my mom tested positive for COVID she was um feeling really really sick so she decided to take a test and she tested positive for COVID and my dad tested positive for COVID and then they had one test left and I went and took it and I was supposed to take it the next day but I started feeling like really strong symptoms so I went ahead and took it and it came back negative so I don't know if I just took it too early because I for real had like major symptoms and I think that's what happened was I just didn't wait the extra day and I took it and it still came back negative um but I ended up getting a um cough a runny nose um and a lot of congestion and it lasted for like three weeks and then i was really on that third week like it lasted really for two weeks and then the third week i was slowly able to get back out again but i was still having to blow my nose constantly my cough was kind of going away at that point like it was pretty much like slowly getting its way out of my body and um but yeah it was a lot to deal with and also um all my everybody was fine except my dad he's actually been in and out of the hospital with lung problems and pneumonia and he actually had to have a surgery because he ended up with a blood clot in his lung and it was a it's been a lot and he's actually able to come home today from the hospital because he just went and did all the stuff with his lungs and he's but he's been to um he's like gotten checked out and he's been on oxygen for the past couple of weeks so it's been crazy but thankfully he is getting better he is um pushing through this and um he's actually about to be coming home and he may not have to even have the oxygen tank anymore which is awesome so he's doing really good which is great it just took him a little bit longer to it's taking him a lot longer than any of us which is weird because he never gets sick so it's weird how it's like attacking like completely healthy people versus like somebody that um like if you like smoke cigarettes all the time or something like i feel like you get the easy way out even though cigarettes affect your lungs and this is a lung like thing that affects you know your respiratory system but somehow they get out of it so easy but like somebody that doesn't even smoke at all gets the worst of it it's like it's the weirdest thing but um but anyways that's basically what has been happening for the long run and pretty much covid stuff and i've been watching a few tv shows and different things like that and i wanted to show you all those once i actually watched them Okay, hello everyone. So obviously the last little clip was of me in a completely different outfit, but um, okay, my cat decided to have the zoomies at the moment, and then Piper, you don't have any more food. Just stop with me, please. Okay, can I mess it up? Okay. So I was actually planning on filming this. 
Sorry if the lighting is bad. Um, it's the middle of the day. The sun's about to go down. I'm trying to film this portion of the video so I can edit it and get it up. But I wanted to talk about a few other things that I've been loving. Basically, I wanted this video to kind of be a update but also show you what I've been loving lately. This is something that has been annoying me lately. Um, okay, anyways, uh, one thing that I have been really into at the beginning of the year, usually like at the start of the year, as you know, everybody does their resolutions and their goals. They start them off strong. And I have read five books this month. And I'll show you a few of them. I, I, I talk about them because that's something that I've been doing in the recent days. I also have been watching a kind of uh, TV show, so I'll talk about those. But the first thing that I wanted to show is books that I have been reading. So I read um, Green Glass House again and Ghost of Green Glass House again because she came out with a, another book that was um, the, the Thief Knot. And I read that on, I don't have it physically, I read it on my iPad. Sorry if you can hear any background noise from my animals. Um, but I read that on my iPad and, um, oh my gosh, this series is just so, so good. There's also like a, there's a book in between this one and the other one I read, um, that I do have as an actual book. Um, and I, there's another book in between those that's like a prequel to the series and it's not that good. Like, don't even waste your time reading it. Um, and then the other book... Uh, there's another one that came out that's based in a, it's based off of a book that was being read inside of this book, but it doesn't have any of these type of characters in that book, so I just didn't read that one. Um, and then I read, I actually read, um, Jamie Lynn Spears' book, The Things I Should Have Said, and it was an interesting little book, and I also read that on my iPad, um, and it only took me like three or four days to finish the book. And it just was like, I read that one while I was reading the third one of this series. And I don't even know what I have to say about it. It's just like, it almost seemed like she, I don't know. I don't have really any opinions on it. Like, it almost seems like, I, the only thing I can say is like, I can see where people are saying that she's lying and like all this other stuff. Like basically what Brittany has been saying and stuff like that. Like, it's very interesting how I feel like she was like, well, if people want to know about all this stuff, I'm just going to put it out in a book and they can take it how they want it to be. But like everybody is say, coming out and even like family member, distant family members and different things like that are coming out saying that everything that she's saying is a lie. There has yet to be one interview I've read or seen that has been somebody saying, oh, she's telling the truth. Like... So, it's very interesting. But anyways, there's that. But also, I did read, um, I finally got my hands on this book. I have been waiting so long to read this book. I thought that there was going to be a third one to the series, but this is actually the finale. So, there's only two books in the series. But it's the Magpie Society, and it's written by two authors in, um, in the UK. And because of COVID restrictions and just... The way that publishing is doing and everything, it took it. I wasn't able. I was actually planning on getting a signed copy, but you have to order it from a UK, um, a UK bookstore. And I, for some reason, they wouldn't send it over to me, and I couldn't get my payment to go through somehow. I don't know. It was really weird. So I ended up ordering it off Amazon, but I had to wait like a couple of months past. The time that I should have actually received the book, which was in the end of November last year, but I just finished this book a couple of days ago, and or actually I, I finished it yesterday, and oh my gosh, the ending is insane. I was not expecting it. I haven't read the first one since like October of last year because I thought I was going to be getting this one like a few weeks after, so I kind of remember what was going on, but not really. But um. Uh, but the ending, like, this series, it's only two books and they're very short. It took me four, like, it took me, like, a week to read this one book, but I'm sure, you know, depending on how you read or whatever, what time you have to read, it'll probably take you less time than that. But, oh my gosh, this book 
was insane. Like basically, I don't know how to explain these books without giving too much away, but it's based in the UK at a um, boarding school and they, um, and like these two girls, you, you like read from each of their like, um, you read from each of their thoughts and their like brains. So like one chapter is all about this one girl and the other chapter is about the other girl, but they intertwine with each other. And, um, uh, and the one of the girls came from America to the school. And it's kind of like if you've ever seen Wild Child with Emma Roberts on, it's on Netflix. Um, that show mixed in with like a little bit of like Harry Potter vibes. Um, because they have like prefix there, which is what they have in Harry Potter. Like they're like the top head people, like they're the top students in the school that watch over everybody else. And they have those in this book. And um, like it's a mixture of like American stuff and then like UK stuff, very similar to Wild Child. And um, basically the two girls find out that there is a secret society at the school and they get intertwined into the secret society and they're trying to figure out who killed one of the girl's friends before the other, one of the girls showed up and then, but she showed up to the school when this one girl, um, when this other girl got killed. And so they're trying to figure out um, like how it happened, what happened, whatever and it's really really good so i would highly recommend reading that series because it's only two books in the series and it's a very good read and the ending is shocking like it's crazy i really wish there was another book but sadly they decided to make it a two-parter instead of a three-parter but yeah those are the books that i read this month and then um i've actually been binge watching degrassi if you've never watched degrassi before it is such a good show it's i would say it's for like mature audiences i don't know how this show was able to i mean it was a canadian show so i guess they had other like different you know like guidelines for tv shows and stuff but however like when it was out in my generation growing up in school that is how it was in school like that's how we dressed that's how we acted like that's what the era was pretty much and so it makes sense to me, but like kids that are watching it now are like, I don't know, it's just like, it's really interesting. And I also did not realize that there were other series before that one, but it makes sense because it's called like The Next Generation. And some of the like adults are from, from that show were actually in the other ones when they were kids and you got to get to see like where they started from and everything. So I'm thinking about once I'm done with this series version of it, I'm gonna go back and watch those two. But I um, didn't even, also didn't realize how many different people, like I knew some of them, like Nina Deprev, who's in the Vampire Diaries, and um, a couple of other people that I've seen in there, like Aislinn Paul, that plays Claire later in the series. Um, I knew like some of them were in there, but I didn't realize like how many other people from different shows, like Sinead Grimes. I slightly remember her being on the show. Like I didn't watch the show every single week that it came out because when it began I was only in elementary school so I didn't really know anything about the show or anything and then when I got to like middle school high school I started kind of watching it but I wasn't I didn't know what happened like in the previous seasons because I was watching rerun episodes and then when I would try to watch the new episodes it didn't really make sense to me but I still watched some of them um so I knew kind of what the show was about and things but um but now I'm like re I'm like watching it from the beginning on and I'm actually on season seven now. I just got to season seven today and it is so good. Like season six, like the intro in season six is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy they changed it. But then like last night, I had the craziest night last night because I knew that, I'm not gonna give any spoils away, but I knew that one person that's like a major character in the show dies but I did not know that that person, I'm not going to say if it's a boy or girl, but I didn't know if that person died that early on in the show. So it was shocking to me. And I was not expecting that to be the episode that it was on because I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this one episode and go to bed. And I was like, how, how can I go to bed now that I know that this happened? Like it literally shook me to the core. Like it was crazy. But um, yeah, it's a very intense show, but I will say I was laughing so hard in the earlier seasons, like seasons one, like one to three, like about three to four-ish. Um, 
because some of the acting in it was very cringy and then some of the like way that they did like makeup for if somebody got like um like if they got grabbed on the arm like their makeup would be like a little um like they took a foundation that you put on your face and just went like this on your wrist and that was the bruise and then they had one where somebody got slapped in the face and instead of being like bruised on the side of their face they got like their, the side of their lip cut open so it makes no sense but I just like could not stop laughing because with me being on a set before I, I like noticed these things more and um, I can like pick out differences and things from like versus, versus if I was just watching it and never had been on a set before so it's really funny but anyways that is what um, I've been doing lately. I've also been playing a ton of Animal Crossing again. I got, I picked that back up. I started playing it back in, um, I picked it back up in like November, October, November, and then stopped for the past two months and then just picked it up recently again. So I've been playing that on my Switch. And what else have I been doing? I feel like there was some other stuff that I, the other shows I've been watching are um, The Amazing Race, I've been watching Secrets of Sulphur Springs, which is a Disney Channel show, but like it's pretty much similar to Stranger Things. It's very time capsule. They this season though they've turned it into like paranormal, like ghost like, which is really cool to me because I'm like into all that stuff. But um like I watch shows that have like like ghost adventures and things like that. Um but so that's interesting. And then what else have I done? Have I watched? Oh, I've been really into, I think I've talked about this in the last video, maybe, but um, I've been watching the Teen Mom Family Reunion and Teen Mom Girls Night In because I've been watching that show since it first came out, and so I've been following along with that, and I've also still been listening to the Drama Queens podcast, which is the girls from One Tree Hill, and I watch, like, an episode of One Tree Hill on Sunday mornings. That's, like, my little, like, early morning routine on a Sunday is I watch an episode of One Tree Hill and then I watch the or I listen to the podcast on Monday morning so that's what I've been doing um what's another thing that I've been loving this month I think this is really cool also because it's the end of the month when I'm posting this um but I, I plan on posting more but because of the COVID situation I just haven't been able to like film properly but now I'm trying to get back into it so I should be able to film regularly yeah so i think that's pretty much everything that i have been up to um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if there's any let me know if you watch degrassi who your favorite character is and um like i'm only on like i said i'm only on uh, i'm only on season seven so don't spoil anything for me i try not to spoil anything for myself when i like imdb people and like look at other shows and stuff like um, yeah, so if anybody has any thoughts on that, you can leave them down below. I think that's all that I've, like, watched recently, and I've, what I've been watching next Wednesday, though, is when Celebrity Big Brother comes on, and they just announced the people that are going to be on there, and oh my gosh, like, if anybody's going to watch this, please let's have a conversation on Instagram or in the comments down below, because... I am so excited for this season. Like, Todrick Hall is going to be there. Lamar Odom, like, is going to be there. And it was, he was a little odd in his, like, interview thing when he was telling, like, why, like, how people would know him. And he was, like, acting like he was, he was, like, trying to pretend like he never dated Khloe Kardashian. And, like, he was, like, um, I, I think I had a reality show with Khloe Kardashian and like he was like talking like that and it was really weird and then um uh, a bunch of other people are going to be on there like a bunch of like Olympian people and I think a basketball player is going to be on there and who else oh Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC um some of the housewife ladies and I don't know there's just a bunch of random people going to be on there but um, Todrick and Lamar are my two people that I'm going to be watching for. Todrick, I really hope he wins because he's, he's probably, like, the one person I actually know who they are. Like, not, like, personally, but, you know, like, I watch them on YouTube and 
I watch their friends on YouTube and all that type of stuff. So it's somebody that I actually like am very excited to see on the show. But anyways, so that is um, pretty much everything. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down anything below that you would like to mention of anything that I like talked about if you're interested in like anything that I said. And follow me on Instagram because I post a lot on my stories more than I do my actual feed. I need to get back on my feed. But I feel like with the, like COVID and stuff has kind of like anytime I would do something major like a birthday or um, go to a concert or just like anything that I was doing, I would post about it, but I just haven't had those opportunities as much because of the pandemic and things. So anyways, there's that. So yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video before this video gets way too long. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.